What's going on, everybody? And I know we don't have Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes in the background, and that is because I want to mention again today, and I feel like I'm repeating myself every video, but you know what? I, I truly feel this way. You all have been absolutely amazing, and there has never been as much engagement in sort of the process, the account, and overall the comment section across basically any of my channels that I've done uh, for different games or in Heroes of Earth or whatever it was. Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes has been absolutely amazing, and all of you have been contributing, whether it's advice, whether it's just your thoughts, whether it's just, hey, I'm enjoying the series and I'm loving watching you just do whatever you're doing. Last time we had a video with Nooch, was, which was a couple days ago, you all really dove into the comment section and gave your thoughts. We had an amazing conversation with Nooch. It was absolutely amazing. Definitely check out his channel. Um, I've been kind of talking with him a little bit behind the scenes and, and you know, obviously doing the videos with him. It's been an absolute blast. Just so much fun diving into the game, doing my own research, taking your pieces of advice. A lot of it's overlapping. A lot of it's, you know, things that maybe I've already done in the past. And then there's a ton of it that are things that I've never even considered or new things that I have not done inside the game. One of which was the web store that I didn't do until a couple of days ago, but so many of you had dropped a comment and boosted that comment to the top of the comment section. So it's just been absolutely amazing. And one of the other things that i um was kind of interested in which is something that i talked about in my past couple of videos was getting involved in the raids now we're going to talk a little bit more about what i mean by getting involved because it's not really getting involved it's more of leeching <laughs> but um one big thing was where should i go to kind of pick up a couple characters or maybe pick up one character to participate in some of the raids and it looks like based on some of the comments and some of the things that i understand I only need one character, let me pull up Star Wars here, um, to participate in the speeder bike raid that fits the requirements. Now, this doesn't apply to everyone. Again, I'm just speaking about my own experience, my own personal kind of grind here. But I am in a relatively higher level of guild, as from what my understanding is. And they do the speeder bike raid every single, you know, whatever it is, week or whatever. I'm not sure the timeline on it. But if we look here, there's a ton of different chests that you can earn. Of course, it goes way, way higher. Um, but you can earn, it looks like, about the third chest, uh, which gives a ton of currencies. Now, if you're a brand new account, there are a lot of guilds out there that will just take you in as long as you're able to join communities. Like if you just join a couple of discords and you ask around, there are a lot of guilds that um, maybe not necessarily doing speed or bike raid, but are able to get you kind of a little bit boosted in the game. And these are really helpful, obviously, because they give you a bunch of free currency, essentially. But you actually have to participate in them. Like, you have to be able to access them whatsoever, right? In order for you to get any rewards whatsoever. And so, because I haven't been able to do the speeder bike rate at all, because I have no qualifying characters, I have started to refresh Cantina Energy every day because Moff Gideon here is the closest that I have to being able to be that five-star unit that fits in that specific unit requirements. Now, as such, we are six shards away, seven shards away, it looks like. And we also have the ability to go ahead and do another refresh here, which I will be doing. And we're gonna see if we can unlock Gideon and just see if we're able to pick up some rewards today. This will really help out just progressing the overall guild store realistically right getting mark three currency mark two currency and mark one currency really changes the game for us uh and it's going to help us accelerate our progression which is going to be really helpful and because i'm doing this entirely free to play i'm not going to spend any money on the game as of right now again this could potentially change the real real heavy hitters are just any way i could pick up some additional resources this is going to let me go ahead and pick up some mark ii raid tokens as i said for possibly wampa or hermit yoda uh, i'm going to be able to take some mark three currency and that's going to allow me to kind of sit back and maybe just sit on mark three currency until i get something to spend it on that i know i'm, I'm confident on and then of course the mark one currency is the biggest game changer of them all because mark one currency now that i understand how this works remember i come from a time when you have to do the rancor raid you had to do the a uh, a t raid you had to do the sith raid in order to get shards for han solo for general kenobi for darth treya but now if i'm getting a bunch of mark one currency 
not only am I going to be able to pick up Colonel Stark and Dengar, which are both farms that I'm looking for. If you all watched my previous video, um, you would know that uh, Colonel Stark is going to be part of my trooper squad. Pretty simply, Dengar is going to be someone I'm farming just because he's going to be used for the executor, although that's not really a huge pressing time concern. But then, you know, I could start cashing in my, my Mark 1 currency for Han Solo, which would be an amazing addition. Obviously, CLS is someone uh, that I'm going to be going for pretty quickly after the Executor, um, or maybe even before, because I'm going to be building out Bounty Hunter. So I'm going to get Chewbacca, I'm going to have CLS, Chewbacca, I'm going to have Han. That's already three of the kind of core members and are already been on my way for a very solid um, CLS squad because of that. And this means that it'll really just change the overall landscape of my farming capabilities getting access to these mark one raid tokens uh because i was actually a little confused when i first started out the game i was like okay how do i even get han solo how do i even get um general kenobi i'm not seeing them in the regular areas that i had seen them previously and then of course i was like oh i get colonel stark using the guild tokens but that's actually not necessarily true i mean it is true but I also can acquire them using that Mark One currency. So uh, that's gonna really help me accelerate my uh, Imperial Troopers that I, well, don't even have unlocked. Like I don't have Colonel Stark unlocked. So this is really exciting. And that means that I'm gonna pick up another refresh here uh, using gems of Moff Gideon. And we're gonna hope for a big hitter like 10 shards. That was a pretty big hitter for sure. Very excited about that and that means that we're gonna be able to get them up to five stars and if again what i received in terms of information is correct we should be able to just dive into the speeder bike raid with just a single character and be able to participate get like one point on the board and get rewards if i understand correctly we'll see maybe i'm wrong and maybe everyone's just like ah you're trolling man like you don't get anything <laughs> that's just totally fair um but you know that's why that was my understanding um so yeah uh let's see the rate points you earn guild rewards track personal rewards are based on your own contributions okay tempting the difficulty level is the best way to earn more points sure yep um yep 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 difficulty level this is the same thing as here as middle earth had it's kind of interesting they just kind of transitioned that over i imagine when crate dragon came out but here, 300k points is the maximum difficulty. We'll, we're going to run into base difficulty here. We're going to do a battle. As I said, I only have Gideon. I'm not going to wait to try to attempt to get more characters. Um, because, I mean, the raid ends in two days. And if I look at the unit requirements, like, the closest one I have is General Veers here. And he's going to be about a week away because... Um, I need the hard node shards from so <laughs> it's gonna be a little while so i'm just gonna dive into uh this with moff gideon and this is super exciting because again i wasn't sure if this was entirely going to work or a little experimenting again i've never participated in one of these raids crate dragon or spider uh speeder bike raid so i don't actually know how the earlier uh the later raid rewards and, and, and interactions work but it's kind of cool i mean look at that you uh Wow, this is really cool. I have no idea how this works, but um, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm about to learn about all the interactions, um, but wow, this is really cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really been inside the speeder bike grade either. Um, I have no idea if, well, the uh, characters impact the overall mechanics of this. I have no idea. Let's see. They have Imperial bonuses. I guess they have the bonuses that um, you get from the character leader. I don't know. Maybe someone could give me a little synopsis of the speeder bike grade down below. Or maybe I'll just check out some videos. Um, even though I'm not going to be able to put up some scores, I don't think. But yeah, that's kind of insane. Um, okay. Okay. Not bad. So wait. It takes 50 stacks of damage to defeat this character. Okay. So they repair the damage on us. I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. That's the attempt over. Cool. That's fine. I got 1,500 points. I have no idea how this works. 
<laughs> um, that means that uh, we, uh, we're going to submit this score. Um, and, and I'll just chill on that. That's fine. I have no idea what I'll do. I, I, I'm just sitting. I was like so confused staring at all that stuff. I'll have to go watch some videos and read about all the, the different things about speeder bike rate and how it functions, how it works. Um, but wow, uh, that's exciting. I assume that means I'm going to get the rewards from the guild section at least. Um, I imagine. So we'll see. I mean, I put up points, so I don't know. Again, I'm not 100% sure if that's how that works or if I have to reach a, cer reach a certain threshold. Like I have to reach 100k points. Um, and if that's the case, well, we're going to have to, you know, kind of go back in and maybe go for certain five star characters. Um, I'll have to do some research on that. But yeah, 16,000 Mark 1 raid tokens. That's insane. That, that is just absurd. Like, ridiculously absurd for my account so i'm really excited if that's what's gonna happen let me know what you think in the comment section down below and uh oh man i am just excited i had to share with you all once again thank you all uh for giving me a piece of advice um again i, I didn't even know how any of this speeder bike raid worked i, I wasn't like diving into that quite yet because i just assumed i needed a full team but after your comments saying i just needed one specific character um i was like all right you know we'll dive in and i'll start you, you know refreshing moff gideon to get their asap and it came just in time because uh, i only had two more days to be able to pick up a five-star character in order for us to participate so that was pretty cool but back on the grind getting everything done thanks for watching everyone let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below and i'll see you all for the next one